Hello everybody and welcome back to the AC on the Go video. We are here in Charleston, South Carolina and we're going to be doing a boat tour today on yeah. the water. Yeah, it's like a historic boat tour here. Um, we actually did a combo pass that we found online for one of the plantations, houses, uh, tours, and the boat tour. Uh, it was about 50 bucks a piece for the combo. Uh, you can find those online. But this is a boat tour. We're going to be taking that boat right there all around the harbor beautiful scenery that you see that massive bridge um, I don't know if you can see the military ship back here behind us as well uh, we will get it, it said like over 75 historical sites that you'll see so we're gonna check it out see how much we can see and we'll film as much as we can hopefully we don't see yeah so let's go so when you get down here they have a photographer that takes your photo as a group and then here are their boarding procedures for the Charleston Harbor Tours. <clears throat> Air conditioning and extra seating on lower deck. Ooh. You want to do over here? Is there somewhere in the shade? All right, so we are a few minutes away from disembarking here. We've got some good seats right under the shade, right along the edge. We've got a huge container ship coming in, right next to the military ship over there that you can see. I'm sure we'll get a closer look here in a few minutes. Got a lot of little uh, little boats moving around. Over the years, it has survived hurricanes, fire, tornado, federal bombardment, and in 1886, a major earthquake which caused the entire building to leave to the right. Both George Washington and General Robert D. Lee attended services there at different times, and the church itself is located on the corner of Meeting and Broad Streets. That intersection is known locally as the Four Corners of Law. There's a federal building there, a state courthouse, city hall, and then St. Michael's representing God's law. A little later on the tour, guys, I'll start asking some trivia questions. If you think you know the answer to the trivia question, you can come to the wheelhouse and tell me. But please, 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 wait for a break in the narration. If you do have the answer right, that'll get you a non-alcoholic beverage or snack from the Bell Cafe. Again, to our right, you see a camp building with a great top floor. That is the People's Office building, and there is nothing special about that building. Except for the fact that it was home to South Carolina's first elevator. Well, people must have been awfully bored back then, and when it opened, they drove from hundreds of miles away and stood in line for hours just to ride the elevator. The top two floors of that building is a private residence, and it was recently built in the real estate market at $16 million. To the left of that building, you see a white rotunda with a gray roof. That is the old exchange of Provost Building. That is the last public building built by the British here in 1771. In front of us, you see some gray boats. Those are the Charleston Harbor pilot boats. A pilot will get on board those boats 365 days a year in almost all weather conditions, and they go about 25 miles offshore where they meet up with one of the large ships coming into Charleston. The pilot will climb aboard using a rope ladder and then make his way to the bridge of the ship. Once he's on the bridge, he doesn't actually drive the ship, but instead tells the crew how he wants the ship driven. This is a very closely guarded profession in Charleston. These guys make between five hundred and seven hundred thousand dollars a year, telling somebody else how to drive a boat. So unless you have the right last name or you marry into the right family, the chance of you becoming the intro of the Carmel Power is less than zero. So this is Battery Road. Also, said, the battery, where a lot of the old battery cannons have been there to our history. There we go. 
scattered about throughout that park and monuments and memorials. I'll just let him talk. One important Charleston history. And right in the middle of the park, there's a beautiful gazebo where many, many weddings take place. White Point Gardens is also one of two places where they used to hang pirates. They were hung there, and also shoots Tully Island, which is to our left. Most people, when they think about the South, they don't think about pirates. But believe it or not, we had a very good relationship with the pirates for a number of years. And that's because we weren't exporting anything yet. We were only importing. Okay, so we have a nice little thing where all the you we ask some trivia questions and then if you have if you answer the trivia question right, you get a free drink. So I think I have to do that at some point. I just I don't know I don't know the answers. I looked it up on Google and it wasn't right, so I really don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, look at this nice view. I will say there so there's seats way back in the back but right in front of this bar area are literally three seats and it is like the perfect section so if you're coming on this boat cruise when you get up on top of the ship go to your right and curl around where the bar is and there's three seats right in front of the bar perfect seats you're in the shade for the most part anyway at least on the first half of the tour maybe the other way around when you turn around and go back but perfect seats and able to see everything great you're right underneath the speaker so you can hear the guy really really well oh yeah is that the Johnson yeah so we said Fort Johnson is out here with these gray buildings where the official first shot of the Civil War took place Fort Johnson yeah those tan buildings very interesting so here is a military base. This was actually sunken by the British back in 1624. Uh, they were transporting some goods and then we just sent a bomb and blew the ship up. So it's kind of just floating here still. And there, it looks like there's some people. Okay, so we just saw some dolphin out here somewhere. Oops, there they are. So, somewhere over there, there were some dolphins. Yeah, they're right over here, swimming. So we are now approaching Fort Sumner. Very famous fort that was used in the Civil War, many other wars as well. See it there. On the second half of the tour, look at these awesome houses right here on the water. Man, this looks awesome. I would not mind living there on that, that house. These houses look awesome. This is one of the most expensive zip codes in the country. These are incredibly high priced homes. Oh. Reese Witherspoon has a home on Sullivan Island. Oh. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a home on Sullivan Island. What? Bill Murray used to have a home on Sullivan Island. But he could not behave himself, and now his ex wife has a home on Sullivan Island. Okay, so I have to stand in the shade because this is the hottest I've ever been in my life. Yeah? What do you think of this boat tour? Huh? It's pretty fun. Yeah? There's a horrible name for a world class maritime museum, and the name was changed to Patriots Point. Today, Patriots Point is home to the aircraft carrier USS Yorktown. The destroyer, USS Laffey, and the submarine, SS Climate War. I'll tell you more about all three of those ships once we're closer, but for the next couple of minutes, you'll have some great photo opportunities with the off the Ravenel Junior Bridge in the background. Extensive endeavor. So unfortunately, the Climate War has fallen over hard times in disrepair. There's not a whole lot of historical significance to the submarine, and in the near future, it will be turned into an artificial reef. The destroyer, USS Laffey, DD-724, she was built by the Bath Iron Works in Bath, Maine. Commissioned in 1944, it served until 1975. So 
We are at the base of this massive bridge, as you see here. It costs 600, I think he said $650 million to make. Over here is the other original bridge that used to be here that they said when they inspected it got a four rating out of a hundred. <laughs> and that's what caused them to go and try to lobby to get some funding to be able to, you know, make some, well, actually redo the entire bridge. They said we're about to go underneath the bridge and they're gonna blow the horn of the ship, boat, and it's gonna be extremely loud. So we'll check that out, see what it's about. Last warning, here comes the horn. Now I can't lie to you guys, that is my favorite part of the job. And since I'm the captain and I can do what I want, I want to blow it one more time. <laughs> We had two bridges here. The first was the Grace Memorial. Oh boy. So we just finished here at the boat trail. The boat trail. Yeah, it's the Charleston Harbor Tours, the boat trail. tours. I don't think it's trail, I think it's tours. But yeah, we had a great time. Like it was a great tour, what do you say? Saw a lot of the historic sites. And, yeah. Yeah, we are here in August, so it is super hot. Um, but yeah, I mean, we still had a lot of fun. We fortunately were in the shade for the most part. Uh, there was a little bit of time there where we got out of the shade, where it got a little bit steamy. Uh, we did remember sunscreen, but I will say the captain did a great job. He was also the tour guide, so he did a fabulous job. The other crew members were great. Like, the whole thing was a great experience. So I, we highly recommend doing this historic boat tour here in Charleston. So, don't forget to turn on the AC. So, quick tip. I know we just finished the video, but I wanted to point this out. You cannot park right up by the docks. So you have to either park right here on the street, like where you pay by the meter, or there's this little open lot back here that you can pay for a spot, or right behind that, you can kind of see that building back in the back. That is a parking deck, so you can park there as well. So if you're coming down here for the tour, keep that in mind, your GPS is gonna take you right to the docks, but you cannot park there. You do have to find parking elsewhere. So just a tip.